Hi Capricorn, welcome to my channel. I'm Tina. Today I'm going to be doing your upcoming August 2020 weekly tarot. This is going to be for August 23rd to the 29th. All right, guys, I do pull two layers. Let's go ahead and give these cards a shuffle. I'm going to lay your cards down. I will put up a photo as well for you guys to see what we pull. And let's get into the first layer now. A few more shuffles, Capricorn, and let's see what's happening for you guys. August 23rd to the 29th. Two more. All right, let us see. Ooh, at the bottom, you guys, we have the sun. The happiest card in the entire tarot. All right, what's the situation? <gasps> okay, what's challenging you? What's motivating you? Where's your head at? Okay, what's your approach? External influences or people that might be affecting the situation? Okay, and then your future outcome, what's coming towards you? All right, you guys, we're gonna definitely pull some more cards. Boom. At the very center of the reading, we got the fool here. It is the fool's journey. You are present. You are consciously here and present. But of course, the fool is that that joy for life. It's about taking a leap of faith. It's starting a whole new chapter, a whole new journey. It comes after the world. So a major chapter has closed, and now you're on the edge of the beginning of a new chapter. You're just at, just like this fool. You're at the edge of that cliff ready to take a leap of faith, and he is always protected. It is a positive omen, guys. But there's a chance on life being taken here. That's at the center of the reading. Really beautiful energy. Something's stressing you out, though. Something is stressing you out about this, this chance, this leap of faith. Um, something is stressing you out because we have the Nine of Swords in your approach, and you're definitely trying to get more information. It's like you want to take this leap of faith, but you need to learn a little bit more. We got the Page of Swords here. This is about discovery getting the facts, getting the truth, getting the info, cutting to the heart of it. All right, let's pull a second layer. Let's really see what's happening. Of course, I'll update this photo as well. I am pulling it from a different deck in case the same energy does want to come out more than once. We'll know it's more dominating. All right, Cap. Wow, new journey for you. New journey for you. Feels like a blessing. Justice is here too, guys. Karma is here. Things will turn out just. It's in your environment. It is in your environment. All right. Two more shuffles, Cap. Let's see what's happening. Somebody's taking a chance here. That's at the heart of this reading. I love seeing the fool. All right, last one. There we go. What's at the situation? Psh, I told you guys the world. All right, what's challenging you? What's motivating you? Where's your head at? Okay. Um, what's your approach? What's in your environment that might be affecting it? Oh, so interesting. And then your future outcome, what's coming towards you guys? All right, wow. Wow, wow, wow. I went into that whole spiel about the fool and the world and the fool's journey. Yeah, major chapter of your life is closing now. Whoever this is resonating with, we have both the world and the fool here. The end of one chapter and the beginning of the other. It's literally the portal. After you go through the world, that portal, you're right back to zero. Unlimited potential in this new path. Not to say it doesn't have its challenges, which is what you're scared of. Because it's such a new journey. It's such a taking a leap of faith, which I don't think is like Capricorn by nature, actually. Um, but it's such a new journey and you're afraid of the unknown. You're like, oh my God, is this gonna be a mistake? You know, the normal questions that come up whenever we start a new journey, because we got the moon here. It's a challenge for you. We also, I, I should add with the moon, things may not be as they appear. I don't like to trust the moon energy. I embrace the, mu the moon energy. It is here to teach us, but it is here to teach us that not everything is as it seems. There's a lot of illusions. There's only one truth. Like even this moon here has, is it the sun? Is it the moon? Is it a crescent moon? Is it a full moon, right? Not everything is as it, as it appears. And it's challenging you because the road is unknown. The path is not lit. You don't know if this is gonna be the greatest decision. Is it gonna be a decision you regret, right? That's why you have to embrace that fool energy. He's got faith, he's got trust. He's got faith and he's got trust. And when you have faith and when you have trust, you're protected by the universe. You are protected by the universe. Um, and it's, this is a really positive omen, guys. If you're like, should I take it, should I not? You know, of course, not that I wanna, you'll know for yourselves. Um, and, you know, check the disclaimer, of course. But this for me, anytime I see a tarot reading and, and the fool is in the spread, 
it's a really positive omen. I feel like it's the universe being like, take the chance. You won't regret it. It does come with challenges, like any path, like any path. But what do they say? Like there was a quote that I read when I think of the fool and they were like, if you don't make sacrifices and risks for the things you want, then the things you want become the sacrifices and the risk. And so like embracing that fool energy, it's always scary, but it's also like equally exciting. And you're just scared. You're scared of the unknown. You're scared of taking that bold action. You're just scared of the direction. He's a natural born leader. And I feel like you're just scared of that direction. You're challenged by the unknown. I feel like lots of questions are coming up. The fear has come up of should I, shouldn't I? Absolutely. But you're trying to take a leap of faith and you're going in a new direction. I feel like there's more than one thing happening this week because there's something in your environment too. Because this is really positive energy, guys. Even if you're afraid of the unknown, it's really exciting. Like I said, as scary as it is, it's also equally exciting. So it's really positive energy. But there's something in your environment that's weighing heavily on you. Somebody's walking away. For some of you, it could be a Libra because justice is there. But with your mind, like I said, with your mind, you do. You want you want things built to last. You want something to share with somebody, I feel, also. Um, and you have the Page of Swords. You're just getting more information. You're still gathering more information. Your mind is being really sharp, really analytical. It's doing some digging. It's doing some digging, I think, to try to remove some of those fears so that you can feel a little bit more relaxed about that moon energy. Um, all right, you guys, let's talk about your approach. Although the Nine of Swords is there, clarifying it, we did get strength, guys. So you will be able to tame that beast. That moon energy, I feel like, might be surfacing. You know, the things that give you the anxieties, the things that bring up your fears. It might be coming to the surface, but I feel like you're going to be aware of it and you're going to be like, just calm down. This isn't real. Work through this energy. But you're able to really tame the beast. The beast within when it comes to this Nine of Swords. Really great energy. You know, and I always tell people, like, even when you see, like, a nine of swords on the spread or something, and people are, you might get worried that, like, oh, you're going to have some anxiety. You're going to have some sleepless nights. This is the current trajectories of your energy, right? Like, this is the current path. But at any moment, we can have internal shifts, and our whole storyline can change. Like, for me, whenever I get a reading and I do see this nine of swords, and that energy does come up, I definitely remind myself, and I think back at, like, the tarot reading, I'm like, okay, Tina, just try to navigate this. Let it come through, but don't let it overtake you, right? And so it actually really does help me navigate it. But anyhow, you do tame that beast. You tame that inner beast. This is your inner strength coming through. And it's able to like, really, like the lion for me are those insecurities. It is those fears. It is those painful memories. It is those regrets, those could haves, those would haves, those should haves, right? Um, am I going to? Will I? Right? It's all those like questions, that dark night of the soul. And that's what the lion is, and she's able to tame it. This is your lion. It's those thoughts in your own head. And you know, they even say the greatest battle is the one we conquer within our own minds. But that being said, guys, like I was saying in your environment, we have that Eight of Cups energy. Somebody's walking away. Somebody's walking away from something that once made them really, really happy. And connected to it, we have justice, guys. <sighs> Could be with a Libra. With justice being here, I feel like things are just and fair, even if they may not seem like it. Where do they say um, hindsight is always a lot clearer than foresight? Um, but the Eight of Cups is here because something was missing for somebody and they had to walk away. But it was very hard. Just like this character, this is not a happy position, but something's missing. Something's missing and somebody had to walk away. A wrong is being righted. I don't know if it feels that way to you guys. I don't know if it feels that way to you guys, but I know that justice is about that. I know justice is about that. And you know, really with justice, I really think of it being a final decision. I don't normally say that with the Eight of Cups. And again, like I said, it's the current energy path. It can always shift guys, it can always shift. But right now there's somebody in your environment that's walking away. Again, it could be a Libra with justice. Um, and it's painful. It's painful. I feel like that's also connected to that Nine of Swords energy as well, because it's next to it. You know, it's all kind of connected here. Um, but you know what? Coming towards you guys, I think it's gonna be really healing energy because we have the High Priestess and we have the King of Pentacles. So the High Priestess can absolutely be a Cancer in your life. 
But when she appears on the tarot spread, she's here to reveal information. It's your intuition, right? It's that whisper of knowing something, even if it doesn't make sense, even if you'd never thought of it before. She's here to give you information that you hadn't seen before, to notice things you hadn't noticed before, to connect things you hadn't connected before. Seeing the world with a little bit more of a wider lens right now. She's here to reveal it to you. So there is intuition and insights coming your way. They are coming your way. She's coming towards you, absolutely. And with the King of Pentacles here, definitely could be your own energy. Of course, it's Earth, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. This is a person who wants to invest. They invest their time, their energy, their resources. They are very committed, very dedicated. So I feel like you'll be investing very soon in this new path. I feel this fool energy is really like it's at the heart of the reading. So I feel like it's going to be you stepping into that portal ready to invest. Like you're going to get some insight that's going to help you embrace this fool energy. All right, Cap, really positive reading. I'm going to leave it there for you guys. Of course, if anything resonates, please like and subscribe. Thank you guys for letting me tune into your energy and I will see you next week.